Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be looking at another taking another look at another mod review today. Looking at the uh, Kenworth 521. I wanna thank everyone to come out and watch the live stream last night. Let's go ahead and uh, get into this truck and get on down the road. I'm gonna get the job done. So it's a little bit loud. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we're a little bit lower here in our engine sound here. We'll go a little bit lower. We don't blow anybody's ears up. I think that'll be okay. So we have some soil. We're heading, uh, we're, we're going to Idaho Falls. We're in Twin Falls right now. We're going to Idaho Falls. In the truck. What's your route? Hope everyone's doing well. I do appreciate everybody being subscribed to the channel. Coming out and watch the live stream means a lot. It helps the channel grow. Oh, get ready to turn left. Gonna be re uh, restructuring everything here, guys, so what way we doing things. go over everything with this truck uh, like I always do at the end of the uh, video go straight on that's right we get us a thumbnail on a little bit down road here we need to get it before it gets night, though. So we're on our second profile, guys. Now this profile is only, it uses the default companies and only SCS cargo on this profile. I'm not using my other profile, which is has more mods to it than this one does. This one only really has engine packs and like wheel pack mods and stuff like that. It's only really I use on this profile as far as mods. Cause I wanted a profile that I could use that I, you know gives you lets you kind of see everything that SCS has brought to the game because most of all of us use Keep mods right. and we, we always and forget template. what what they've done and when the when the cargo is coming out you know for Oklahoma you know we're gonna, we're, we're gonna want to show that off you know and it's gonna be hard to do with a bunch of mods installed so I created a, a separate profile kind of just for that reason. So you know we, we can kind of look at all the different kinds of cargo that they are that they are doing in, in the different you know default companies. You know, and we had more default companies coming that it's going to be different for Oklahoma. You know, we have a bus plant. You know, the manufacturers of school buses. You know, I mean, you'll see school buses riding around on the map. It's gonna be interesting. I always wondered why you, you never seen them, you know, in this game, and I guess that's really why. I want to wait. We kind of get on the out of town before we take a thumbnail. But it's going to. It's getting dark on us. Yeah, I mean, you know, they got a bus factory coming. They got a tire manufacturing plant. They've got, um, they make like large, a large air conditioner plant. They made the large air conditioner units. Um, they did show that. Um, some other stuff, you know, that's actually coming, you know, that's going to be very interesting, you know. 
and we will be streaming it when it goes live we will be streaming our first run up there Takes this old truck a little bit. Get up. This truck from a uh, Cummins. Uh, I think it's H HCV, 375 horsepower engine. With 18 speed uh, eat fuller. Which now, back then they didn't have 18 speeds. Uh, this is probably like a 1950, 1940 something Kenworth. And they didn't have um, 18 speed back then. Like what they have now. Keep right and then turn right. Best I can out this mirror. I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get a thumbnail real quick. Go ahead and get that took care of. Another truck. Yeah, the chrome grill I think has a little bit now. I can tell you right away. That this truck does not have working windows. I was kind of not very happy with that, to be honest with you. That is a feature. Now, maybe the modder just could not make them work, if that's the case. I understand that. Come on. S sit still. This camera system is not. Come on. I'm trying to get it to work. We'll use the uh, keyboard. I think that'll be okay right there. There we go. Got our thumbnail. The camera system is great in this game, but with the controller, it's very touchy. You're using a controller like I am, I because I use the Xbox controller to drive. And uh, it's very touchy, to say the least. But that's going to change. I'm going to be get, I, I'm going to be getting me a, a stand so I can get my wheel together, so I can start using my wheel. So I can drive better. So guys, also I want to say there is, I got an announcement to make too, that I have joined a 5M server, a 5PD server, it's also a roleplay server. Um, I'm going to be uh, on there, I got to finish my training for um, LEO on there. As of right now, I'm going to be only for one department, I may decide to go with another department later. Maybe I'll do two departments or something like that, it just depends. Um, but as of right now, I have not finished my training yet, so that will be coming. And once I get the training finished and I talk to whoever I had to talk to about, I need to see if they have a media department. I'm not sure. Some servers have media departments you have to go through. 
if you stream on their server and I understand that it's their stuff and yeah, we have to respect that but you know so I need to find out all, all the information about that who I need to talk to and everything before we get in and do that How far are we out now? 83 miles to go. So as uh, far as the truck goes, uh, the truck looks good. Um, it has a ton of engine options supported by mods. All that's out there. You know, the only downside, like I said, to this truck is it does not have a window. Uh, the window does not roll down in the truck, which I understand that maybe it's because the older model, maybe they, the model just could not get it to work. If that's the case, I, I totally support that. I totally understand that 100%. You know, if not, you know, then that's something that maybe they can fix and update later. I know the truck's been reworked. The monitor has it now has reworked it, so maybe that's something that he's working on. I'm unsure about that. But hopefully that can be took care of. Game is still being laggy for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Part of it, I think, is uh, um, shadow play being laggy. Okay, we're in the right aisle, right lane. Exit left. Also, guys, I've had some requests to try to find a updated version of the W900 Long, the Kenworth W900 Long. As of right now, I have not found one that's active. I know there's one on the workshop. All the ones that I've seen on the workshop are like from 2020, uh, 2019, 2018. Uh, there is a 2022 one. I'm going to see if that still works. I don't know if it's been updated for the new light pack and everything that SCS did put in the game. It may not work because of that reason. I'll have to see. So we can run that truck again. That, that's a bees, that truck. But I don't think the truck has been updated, though. For uh, 1.4.7. tell me what games y'all look forward to this year I'm, I'm I actually am looking forward to City Skylines too but what I've seen and everything that they're doing with that that friendship for that series yeah Keep right, they're actually taking and then exit right. 
some of the best mods out there. They're actually going to integrate into the game, which is awesome to see that you know, they're taking that advice and and doing that. Okay, that's going to make a, a lot of difference in the, in the whole right. thing. I noticed one thing too about this truck, it eats frame rate at times. It's not all the time, but Go sometimes it does eat, right. eat a little bit of frame rate. Go on the plaster and turn sons. right and then turn left. Turn left. Right, this is where we're going to be dropping tonight. Is it plaster and sons? You have arrived to your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. Take a look at the truck. I see exactly where they want it to. I was worried about riding this way. Go in the cab.
see if I can turn it this way a little bit. We don't, I don't like that. I'm almost ready to have some. Exit, we drove 163 miles, took us 3 hours, 35 minutes to get there. We consumed 22.4 gallons of fuel. Alright. Alright, so. I'm going to go to the garage here, to the dealership. Show you the, all the extras for this truck. Alright, go to Kenmore. Alright, so it starts out, as you see, it's a day cab. Then you have the modern sleeper that's added. You only have two options for that. Okay. One drive, a uh, classic 6x4 long 150 gallon tank. Engines, I'm going to just go through. Um, you have cat, uh, Detroit diesels. Right here, this is a 454. You have um, all these uh, are the Cummins NTC big cam engines. You have more Detroit diesels. You have a, ton, a lot of engine options for this truck. Now, I am using mods. So, maybe some of the mods that I'm using may, may support this truck. That is a very good possibility. The truck, But the truck does come with a, um, when you first get it, a Cummins T75. It has 250 horsepower. So you have a ton of options for your engines in this truck. A lot of mod, mod options here. So it, it, it does have a lot of options for your engines. And it ranging anywhere from 275 in horsepower to 735 in horsepower. All right, transmissions, you have a 6-speed, 10-speed, 14-speed, 18-speed, and 18-speed with retarder. One interior. Paint jobs, you have a ton of paint jobs here. For the truck. A lot of custom paint jobs that's made by the author, which is always good to see. Um, you, have custom, you have your custom color and, cu and custom metallic colors. This is your options for the truck. You have, um, this makes it a chrome grill, like that right there. Put a chrome, chrome grill there. This is your headlights. You have your eyes lenses of your headlights, which is the chrome piece right there. This is your mounted bumper, I mean your mounted blinkers, and your this is your eye lens and your blinkers. All right, this is your um, air filters. If you want your air filters on the side of the truck, you have that option. This is mirrors. You have painted in chrome. You have a... Uh, a visor, you can have a chrome visor for the truck. You like that, you can have um, your regular airlines or airlines in the box. Your exhaust stays the same, it looks like. I don't see too much difference in that. All right, as far as tires go, you have one set of tires options. Now, this is because I'm using the Alcoa pack. The reason why I have these tires. You have a ton of, like I said, you have a ton of different, uh, you actually could paint these rims. We should have used those and just paint them. I was not aware of that. Oh, yeah, see, so that that would have been better. It would look, it would look better like that. I would have wear that, okay. But anyways, you have a ton of options here for wheels. It is supported by uh, most, a lot of the mod packs out there. It does support it. So that's always a good sign to see. That is supported by, the, by a lot of the mod pack. Interior. As you can see, you can change your interior color. But the color of your truck changes. The dash and all changes by the color of your truck. See, it's white. 
the regular interior color stays the same. You cannot change your regular interior color as far as you see. All this is the same. You have, um, this is your GPS right here. Um, you can put little items, items on the dash. It is supportive of that if you want to put that on the dash. Um, that's more glass stuff. And this is going to be like a um, little, little hanging, like if you want to hang uh, the cabin accessory pack, what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry. I can't talk this morning for some reason. That's pretty much it for this truck. I mean, th there's not really a lot of options, but like I said, it's still a classic old truck. It does need some work. Um, like I said, the um, windows does not work in the truck, which is a shame to see. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the Kenworth 521. Uh, if you want to get the truck, the truck is on um, ATS Mods. It's where I got it off of. If you want to download it, that's where I got it. So, thank you for watching. If you've been watching the videos, I'm trying to do this a little bit fast. I uh, do apologize for that. Thank you for watching. If you've been watching the videos, and we'll see you in the next video.